Hello everyone, today I will show you how we can create this type of tabs using default Elementor tabs widget. We will not use any type of third party plugin, just some HTML and CSS and Elementor. So let's get started. So as you can see, this is a blank page and I want to insert the tab in this section. So let's search for the tab widget and drop it in here. So as you can see, we have two tabs and we can add as many as I want. So we have three tabs now, as you can see, tab one, tab two, tab three. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to assign a class in our tab widget. So let's go to the advanced and let's add a class. So I'm naming it pro underscore tab. You can name it whatever you want. So this is our tab class. So what we need to do next is we need to add some html code in this title area so to make this title like icon and this ones we need to insert some font or some icon and the title so how do you need can do you can edit, uh, open your code editor so let's say uh, for the first one we need to insert a clipboard icon so the code for clipboard icon so this code is for clipboard icon so what we will do you will wrap this icon with a div so let's add a div let's add a class of i am naming it tab icon tab underscore icon and let's close the div we wrap this icon with a div and also we need to add the title so our first tab title will be overview so let's insert the text and let's also wrap it with a div let's add a class also i'm naming it tab title and let's close it down. so what i did i added this font to some icon code so this is fa fa clipboard for clipboard icon and wrapped it with a diff called tab icon also i inserted the title and wrap and wrap the title with the class name tab title so we are done we can make it in one line so this is our whole code so let's copy this code and insert in the title area so this area support html as well so just delete the text and insert the code in here as you can see in the title area we, we are now seeing this icon and this title so same rules for the other tab as well let me duplicate this just change the icon code in here and change the title in here for the next let's duplicate this code and let's add an icon of uh, let's uh, map pin font of some icon code and let's change this title to something like map let's say map and copy the whole code and insert to tab number two same goes for the tab number three so just duplicate this one of this and let's change the icon code if a questions for the question and answer tabs and name this question and answer q and a or faq mm -hmm. Mm. okay so copy this and insert it in here so as you can see all of our tab has now icon and the title so let's save it and let's preview it so as you can see we have a tab and all the tab has icon and title let's remove this border from this tab so go to this style tab and let's make the border width to zero so that no border is visible as you can see no border is visible so now 
we need to add some CSS code so you can add it in your theme style CSS or the customizer so I am going to customizer and go to custom CSS or advanced CSS so in here we, I will add the CSS code for this tab so first of all we need to target the tab icons so we need to make this tab icon bigger and we need to add a border around it so let's target this class we have added tab icon and we need to give it a padding so let's give it padding I'm giving it 25 pixel by 45 pixel as you can see padding is now added we need to add a border around this icon so let's add a border border one pixel solid and give the color nice border is now added and we can add a margin bottom to separate this title from the border so let's add a margin bottom to let's say be 20 pixel so as you can see the title is now pushed down so now let's target this icon itself as you can see it's very tiny and not the original color so let's target the tab icon and the eye tag because we have inserted the because the uh, tag of our icon was i as you can see in here so let's target this item i tag and let's add some css on it first of all we need to make this icon size bigger so let's increase the font size font size 40 pixels maybe okay and let's change the color so let's change the color to something grayish color I'm giving it a5 a2 a2 so this is a good color for our icon and let's make this icon aligned at center so text align center so now our icon is ready so as you can see if I hover over to this icon it's nothing happens so let's add the hover over effect so let's copy the icon class and add over let's add a background background the same color as the border as you can see now the background color is showing in hover so when we hover we need to also change the color of this icon as well so let's copy this tab icon hover i and change the color to white so now if i hover over to this tab the icon color is now changing to white so our icon section is now ready let's go to this title section so the class for our title was tab title need to increase the font size font size let's give it 14 pixel and let's make the text transformation to uppercase text transform uppercase and let's make the text align center text align center and let's change the color to gray color or any color you want so let's give it 4f 4f 4f, 4F, 4F. so now perfectly aligned now our title is perfectly aligned so now the top part is done but when we choose the other tab 
as you can see the tab is not highlighted so let's make this active tab highlighted so the class for our whole tab was pro tab pro tab so let's target this class and after that we need to target the active we need to target the class of this active div active tab so the class for that tab is elementor active so elementor dash active this is the class for active tab and we need to target this active active tab and the tab icon so within the active tab we need to target the tab icon so tab icon and let's change the background to this one and also we need to duplicate this code and add i so that when this tab is active the eye color is the icon color is also changed to white so the color white so now as you can see our active tab is now showing in white let's let's hit the publish button and refresh this page as you can see our tab is not done you can also style the content area based on this area so this is the tutorial for this icon tab so i hope you guys learned something new